welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I pack my felt organizers. So this is a new one that I picked up off of Amazon. Don't worry, I will leave a link down below if you're interested. It was very inexpensive. It came super quick and it protects my bags. So that's the best part. This one in particular has a ton of compartments and that's why I wanted to share it with you because I can pack it a little bit different. We interrupt this video to bring you a Chanel Beauty unboxing because Macy just barked at the male person who dropped it off. So I picked this up from Nordstrom at the recommendation of Jerusha from Jerusha Couture TV. This is the Chanel Coco Gloss in icing. Oh my goodness. There's the Chanel top. We're gonna try it on for this video. First impression, very glossy, very beautiful. Um, a little sticky, tastes a little bit like grandma's makeup, if you know what I'm saying. Has that like lip sticky smell. Oh, what do you think? Yes or no? Do you like it? She's wagging her tail, so we're gonna say that's a yes. Anyway, I think I was telling you that this one had a lot of compartments and that um, I was gonna go ahead and show you how I pack it. So first things first, on this side there's two large compartments and then on the inside there are three smaller ones. You have one large pocket here and then three smaller ones again. Now this part is really cool. There's actually a zippered portion that can Velcro out of the bag. So this is what that would look like without the Velcro piece but I personally think that this is so useful. It's actually the reason I got it because it has the zipper compartment. So inside the zipper is just plain, of course, and then you have this large pocket here, another open space, two more large pockets, kind of like these on the side, and then one last slip pocket here. So as you can see, there's a ton of ways to organize this. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. I fit this into my GM Neverfull, but you could fit this into the MM. I like to go one size down with my Neverfull inserts because I feel like you can then fit some stuff on the sides if you want to. For example, I could fit my water bottle maybe on the side of this inside. First thing, I will put my little Chanel lip gloss that just came in the mail on the one side here. In the next pocket, I'm just gonna slip in my Louis Vuitton clay, and in the next one will be my monogram card holder. So that is what those look like. Next up, we're gonna throw in one of my favorite SLGs of all time, which is the Pochette Accessoire. And um, the way I like to store this generally, I always like to keep a crossbody strap on me. So I will just leave it attached to one side of the bag and then I will on the other side, just roll this up. So as you can see, it's still attached there. And then I just tuck it inside and then I zip this right up and it just becomes like a little pouch and I'm gonna throw that on the opposite side of where I just put my clay and card holder. Then next up with that, I have my PM cosmetic case, which as I'm sure you know, is always stuffed full. I have hand sanitizer, lotion, my Chanel mirror, my other Chanel lip balms, which actually might look really cute next to this Chanel lip balm. So as you can see, I put all my Chanel lip balms in here and then I just stuck my Chanel mirror right inside of there. Now with the rest of the contents of my PM case, I'm going to stick this on the opposite side of where I put my pochette accessoire. So it'll just lay right into there. Then of course, next to the cosmetic case, I'm gonna slip in my desk agenda. This comes with me everywhere on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're interested in how I set my agenda up, you can go ahead and check out that video. I will have it linked down below. And then on this side, I just have um, a notebook. So just gonna slide that right down in. So with the agenda inside, that is what that is looking like. Then next to the pochette accessoire, I'm gonna slip in my mini pochette, which holds the remainder of my wallet contents and here's what those look like now typically I would slip in like an extra crossbody strap or something into the zippered compartment this is the gist of how I would pack my felt organizer I don't really put anything in the sides here unless I have maybe some mail all right and here's what it looks like with the organizer in there it's kind of hard to tell but I could easily fit a water bottle on the side here I really love the way this has been working for me I feel like it gives the bag a little more structure but not too much because it's not the size meant to go 
and a GM. Whenever you go for a organizer that is the size of your bag, you're gonna get a little bit of a line like right where the organizer stops and that's because it will push against the canvas. I just don't like the way that looks so I much prefer to go a little bit smaller so I'm organized but I'm not worrying too much about structure. So thank you so much for watching this video. I love that we had a little surprise Chanel unboxing just thrown into the middle of it. Two things I didn't include are my six ring key holder and my phone. That's just because I like to slide these two things into the pocket of the Neverfull. Again, if you're interested in this organizer in particular, I will have a link down below for you to go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. I love to have a conversation with you. And don't forget to like the video if you like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future ones. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Happy holidays.